Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Friday Night Kaizo Race. This is Friday, April 20th, 2018. My name is Gumja. I will be your host for today. We have four very skilled racers uh, on screen right now. In the top left, we have Davyu. In the top right, we have Szechuan Steve. Bottom left, we have Akos, Eos, and bottom right we have qc charlotte muscles our reigning kaizo king brickman is actually the creator of this week's race level it is called my little pet drill i'll let you guys speculate about that uh, as we wait down the final seconds for it to be posted brace yourselves wait hold i'm staring at the discord we had a ready and a set Where's the go? Boom, go! My little pet drill, 212882. And the racers are typing it in and they're off. 212882. There's that code locked in for you guys. So it looks like QC is the first one into the level, taking a little bit of a quick start. So you'll note right off the bat, the first section is a one HP section. So it's kind of jarring what's going on, uh, but you get murdered through a bunch of teleporters to bring you down to exactly one HP. And you're put into this section where you need to ride on that drill. If you miss your ride, then you're uh, kind of out of luck. You are playing as Mega Man, you have no special weapons whatsoever. The first objective of all players is going to be to get through that uh, yellow laser and get in front of the Spear Twirler. So that in of itself is quite the challenge, you just need to not be scared, don't waste time, you need to hop straight down there. Once you're down, you're going to be doing a series of jumps over top of... Uh, well, spikes. So there's going to be a bunch of one tile blocks that you're going to need to hop around precariously while also dodging the spear twirlers, uh, well, his spear. So taking an initial look at things, it looks like everyone is having the same amount of trouble um, getting into the swing of things. Akos and Davy, by far the quickest to adapt uh, most of the time. So we'll see if that stays true here. Meanwhile, we have QC, who said in chat earlier that this, this is going to be the one. He is planning on taking this one home, and it looks like QC being the first one to really make any significant progress. Uh, now, I am going to tell you guys that last week I noticed I uh, every time I diverted my attention from someone, the person that I was not talking about made progress. So I'm gonna try to keep my attention focused on whoever is currently uh, most ahead in their segment, I guess, to make sure we don't miss any significant progress. Uh, might happen, so if it does, you know, such is life. So QC making his way over the first set of platforms, getting to the double spike areas, but dying to the spear twirler. Aiko still being a little hesitant. I think he's trying to get on to the drill. Now, uh, in the playtesting, I asked Brickman, hey, what, what happens if you get on top of that drill? And apparently the hitbox for those spear twirlers is actually just big enough that you will actually you will die to the spear twirler um, while standing on the drill, or at least the spot that you would land on that drill. All right, so here's QC, another attempt going through. I think that's the most progress we've seen out of anyone so far. Brickman in chat, hanging out here. Saying that Akos is trying to cheese as usual. I don't think there's very much cheese in this level. It's very straightforward. QC making great progress now. Doing that second dodge, keeping ahead of it. Can he do the next dodge? Oh, and clips his head on that top spike. He made tremendous progress there, more than I think anyone else has so far. We're seeing Akos and Davy just barely getting through the uh, the two spike section. And of course, by two spike, I'm talking about how many uh, I guess spikes you're jumping over. Davy got the furthest. Someone's mentioning. 
Davey got further. All right. See? When I'm not focusing on someone, they're going to go far. Kid. All right. I'm going to keep my eyes on Davey here. Davey going into it. Dead already. Here we come. Akos. Dead. Moving on to Szechuan Steve. Szechuan Steve, uh, notable for taking a little longer on the uh, on the gecko on adapting the strats, but then he becomes pretty pretty consistent once he gets them down pat. All right, QC going for another run, getting into the ceiling spikes, making the jumps. Pressure's on now, and he's just got to make it over this drill. QC. Making it through the first section. Hopefully he doesn't kill himself on these spikes. So the story of this is you're following a single drill all the way through. And that's supposed to be the tunnel of the drill you're following. There it is. That's supposed to be the same drill. Your little pet drill. So this second section here is uh, quite interesting. You're going to be using the idea of the laser going through ladders. So you can still walk on them. As well as... Um, bombs being able to respawn and block those red lasers. So as you'll see coming up here, let's see how QC deals with this information. He's going to get to a point where he can't slide, and then he dies. <coughs> so at some point he's going to need to turn around, and um, he'll see the bomb spawn and cut off the laser, which will let him drop down. And hopefully that cues him in uh, as to what he needs to be doing in this situation. Okay, so that's a logical progression there. He's gonna drop down, um, see what that does. Obviously not gonna help him. Meanwhile, I'm gonna turn my attention away for half a second to take a look at our other racers. Everyone else is just making their way through. All right. QC taking another gander at this. He goes down. That's that's not what you want to do. I think he was thinking maybe you're trying to stay ahead of it. Davey here making another attempt. Looks like he's into the swing of things pretty good. He's at the threes. Ooh, and jumped ahead when he should have ducked backwards. QC taking another look at things. Looking to expand his lead. He's still at the first trick. So at this point, anyone else who uh, catches up can pass him. Um, just by understanding the trick faster than he does. All right, we got Szechuan Steve making his way through the triples and getting caught there. I think that's probably the most progress we've seen out of Steve so far. So that's good news for him. All right, QC going forward and getting blown up on the ladder. Don't know. I think he probably pressed down. Although for me, it just looks like he's exploding out of nowhere. Davey going across the three jumps. Making it to the, I'm going to call this the chandelier section. Can he keep up the dodges? One last dodge and across. As long as he makes it over this drill, Davey making it to the checkpoint. As long as he doesn't troll himself. Looking back over to QC. There we go. QC gets the idea of what's going on. Turning backwards to shut off that laser. Only temporarily though. Because as soon as you despawn the bomb, the laser shows back up. So you need to have some precision... Uh, movement after despawning the laser so you can get back in and around to your next safe spot all right davy's coming at this section seeing if he can understand what's going on he's gonna walk forward realize he can't slide walk backwards notice what's going on okay so davy has a solid idea of what needs to be done at this point looks like he grasped that a lot faster than QC did. So now it's a matter of whether or not QC can capitalize on his little bit of knowledge. QC is through that second section. Knows he needs to drop down, reset it. But this is new information to him. And you need to actually get in front of the drill and hop up onto that ladder before the laser catches up. This is all about, um, I guess, resetting the laser and making your progress in those brief sections of laser resetting. Also, hello to everyone in chat. Thank you for uh, hanging out today. All right, QC. Oh, QC missing the ladder drop. I don't think he's going to be able to take advantage of this. Szechuan Steve. Uh, looks like he had some issues there. Looks like his game might have crashed. 
quickly hopping back into the level. Thankfully, he didn't lose any progress. He was still on the first section. Same with uh, Akos. All right. Davey and QC at pretty much the same section. Davey hitting down too early and dying. Akos at the triples going into the chandelier section. Two more hops. And he's home free. All right. All he needs to do is dodge that drill. And he's over it. Akos making it to the checkpoint. QC running hard, and he makes it. Oh! Makes it onto the bomb and then gets munched on by that drill. That is still the most progress I think we've seen so far. Akos is coming up on his first check of the bomb trick. He dies before he gets there. Meanwhile, Davey. Going to reset it. Doesn't quite get ahead of the drill. Can't get to the bomb in time and falls down. QC taking a leisurely walk. Echo's coming up on his first time seeing it. QC making it past onto the drill. Can he make it through this last little section? All right, so the section where QC is at, you need to... Uh, kind of swivel up in the air a little bit just enough to reset that bomb so the bomb is exactly uh, like one tile off screen so he just needs to wiggle his butt in the air and that'll reset that one final laser to let him get through the uh, that section there all right session one Steve looks like he's making it through the chandelier section two more jumps and he is home free one more jump all right, all he needs to do is make it over the drill. He's over the drill, and Szechuan Steve is going to the checkpoint. <clears throat> all right, so pretty much everyone is playing from the same checkpoint now, so it is back to anyone's game, although QC and Davey have the most information right now. I haven't been really paying attention to see if Akos has picked up on what's uh, what's up with those bombs, although I believe in his intellect that he'll pick it up not too fast, or not too slow. He'll get there. He'll pick it up. I have faith in him. That, that's what I'm trying to say here. All right. Let's take a look at Akos here. Moving into this section. Still, Still trying to figure out what he needs to do. Meanwhile, QC getting through that laser section and accidentally, it looks like they're hitting down accidentally there on the turn. All of our four racers pretty much literally neck and neck moving here. Of course, the one I talk about is going to be the one to die soonest. All right, Akos. Okay, Akos realizing now what he needs to do. Got to be a little quicker on the draw there. Davey going up for his attempt. Descents too early, dies to the laser. QC going through along with Steve on the screen right above him. Goes down too early, dies to the laser. Steve taking a look going, what do I need to do here? Realizes he can despawn the laser, drops down. The epiphany is cut short by a laser to the face. Meanwhile, back to Davey. Davey doesn't quite get there in time. I don't know if I've seen Davey get past that section yet. It looks like he's always just a bit too late. Um, I'm catching there. Meanwhile, we got Steve figuring out what he needs to do. Ooh, Steve taking a, the slow and steady approach. It looks like that's what he wants to do. Meanwhile, QC going up going to the descent part running ahead can he make it up onto that bomb again he does so here's his next attempt to make it to the checkpoint uh it got bodied by the bomb all right echoes making it past the second section not quite getting ahead but i think this was his first time getting to that area so that's new information for him and at this point he is pretty much caught up to qc and davy steve trailing behind by about one trick but at this point it is still anybody's race we are about 14 minutes in 
courtesy of our uh, nice timer right on screen there. All right, Szechuan Steve. Tried to play it slow and steady, didn't quite make it work. Davey U, getting to that bomb jump and dying just right at the end there. QC and Akos are literally neck and neck here. QC has much more information on this. Uh, Akos resets the bomb, but it looked like QC moved more, but the bomb didn't reset. So I'm confused as to what QC is doing wrong there. He's, he's doing the right thing. Um, here we are. I'm just gonna stop saying ums. You guys don't need to hear ums. No one likes to hear ums. Davey going on the descent, making his way to the bomb. Davey's on top of the bomb. Will Davey be the first one to pass this checkpoint up in the air, gets the laser reset, but catches just a bit of damage from the explosion and falls to his death. All right, here we go. Szechuan Steve making his way, trying to get to that, uh, to that next bomb, realizing he needs to stay with the drill in order to make it there. Not uh, not specifically to make it to that bomb, but in order to get past that last section, which very much requires the absolute drilling power. All right, we have our three of our racers literally neck and neck. This could be a very tight checkpoint if everyone proceeds perfectly. QC dying. Szechuan Steve making through, Akos making through, Akos dying. Steve making the run. He doesn't have his drill anymore. All right, debut's chance to shine. Gets up onto the bomb, up onto his laser, taking the ride to the wall. Can he do the reset? He does, and Davey is the first person to make it to our next checkpoint, and he is moving into our third section. Akos hopping up onto the bomb. No, falling down, dying. All right, so this section uh, on Davey's screen, uh, I hope you like fanboys and conveyor belts because that's pretty much all this is. So your little pet drill has turned traitor and it's been hijacked by this, this fanboy here and you've got to chase him down. But fanboys do as fanboys do and you've got to survive careful platforming on conveyor belts while also being blown in all sorts of directions. Akos making it through. See, I talk about something else and people make progress. Akos, second person making it through the checkpoint and heading into that fanboy section right on the heels of Davey. So, um, this fan section is pretty straightforward. It involves uh, any time they're on a conveyor belt moving backwards they pretty much need to be hopping constantly um, because with the pressure from the fanboy or the wind from the fanboy and the conveyor moving backwards they will they literally cannot make forward progress on that so you'll notice that a couple of the one block sections are actually conveyor belts moving backwards which means you just need to spam hop like crazy all right Szechuan Steve and Davey uh, not Davy and QC dying right before that final section. They're getting there fairly consistently now. Uh, with the with the difficulty of this next section, it's it's pretty much anyone's game. It's all a matter of how precise you can be with your movements. Davy jumping onto those backwards conveyor belts, falling down and dying. Here we go. Akos trying one, two. You can see the little hops, but you got to go right to the edge there. Otherwise, you can't make those jumps. Davey taking a try, getting caught on the edge, falling down, dying. We, we got some early rip QCs in chat. I don't, uh... I'm, I'm sure he won't appreciate those. You guys, we need some, we need some QC hypes. 
counter it off. Oh, QC making it to the wall. Just as I, I'm talking indirectly about him, but not quite making it through. Hunter saying the QC might come back in, a, in the fan section, which is very possible. QC being a lover of very, very tight precision jumps. Uh, all right, Echo's taking a substantial lead. Does not get the key though. And so at least he knows where he needs to go and has to take a jump to his death. That was a little hard for him. GG, sorry, that's not a win. All right, so Echo's has the most progress right now. He has seen what he needs to do. We're gonna focus on them a little bit. I'll try to keep an eye on the other two off to the side. Don't want to miss any of the action. All right, Echo's making his way across, falling down off the edge of that, dying. All right, Davey, you going across there, getting the key, but losing his uh, his fanboy there. Unfortunately, that means uh, he's not going to be able to make it past that last spike. So he gets to, to see the GG and fall to his death. So both Ekos and Davey have the same information. Davey completing the key grab. There we go. Ekos trying to go for the key. Runs a little too far forward and dies. Ekos and Davey probably have uh, the most collective wins between the two. I think, uh, if anyone wants to correct me, I think Ekos has the most wins. He, he's the, like, the most consecutive, or not consecutive, but like grand, grand total Kaizo King. So it is not surprising that it, he has taken the lead. Alright, Davey getting another chance here. Can't make it across those little one tile jumps. QC getting another shot at making it to the next section. Let's see if he can do it. At the wall. Resets the laser, but he gets hit by the bomb. He's got to have a little more faith in his air. All right, meanwhile, the second I look away, Akos grabs the key, makes it down, but loses his laser, or loses his buddy, the. Uh, drill and can't get past that spike uh, Steve meanwhile again look at this change my attention <laughs> and Steve makes it through Steve has now made it to the third checkpoint the only one or the second checkpoint the only one who hasn't made it into this fanboy section now is QC from noble beginnings uh, the mighty hath fallen Let's see if he can turn his luck around and go from Popper back to Prince. Or King, in this case. Everyone having a hell of a good time on those one tile backwards conveyor jumps. QC going for another attempt at getting to the fanboy section. And yeah, QC is through. We got ourselves a race, boys. And no one grabbed the checkpoint while I wasn't looking. Szechuan and Steve getting that key for the first time. So now he's got full information, gets a glimpse of that GG. 
and QC is starting to do his research. I'm gonna say a quick hello to everyone in chat. Thank you guys for coming around to watch this here Kaizo race. We are 24 minutes in to my little pet drill. All four racers uh, that are on screen are in the same section. There are other racers racing. Uh, the four we are showing you are, uh, performance-wise, our top four over the past Kaizo races. So as one of these finishes, we will rotate in the other streamers. For anyone who hasn't seen so far, these players are fighting against this fanboy here. Uh, while also trying to deal with conveyor belts, moving them in all sorts of directions. Alright. Akos, getting the key, trying, uh, getting the key and having that drill just go off screen, not making it around in time. So I'm going to be trying to look for anyone who makes it past the two, um, the two backwards facing tiles. At this point, those will be the people who will have the next attempt. All right, QC, or not QC, Davey, up on the top, going through his ride, gets despawned as well. I think that is the closest that anyone has come to getting through this section so far, getting the key and then having their ride gone. Szechuan Steve making it through the single jumps and then dropping down onto the spikes. Akos making it through the single jumps, going forward the key, grabbing the key, coming back around as fast as he can. I think that timing is good. I think that timing is good. Making it through the pits. He's onto the thing. Just don't fall into a portal. And Akos is the first to hit the next checkpoint. Uh, meanwhile, QC uh, discovering what did, <laughs> discovering the GG window and uh, now having as much information as everyone else. All right, let's look at Akos' screen real quick here. This next section is kind of the opposite. Our buddy, uh, our fanboy there, still has control of our dear precious pet drill, except now we got to make sure we uh, platform forward using his air to boost us. Uh, without going so far that we despawn him. Later in this section, you're going to see um, a bunch of precarious spike jumps, here we go, coming up, where you need to kind of use the wind, and the fact that the wind pushing you into spikes doesn't kill you if you are not holding a direction. So that's very important. If you're not holding uh, a direction on the D-pad, and you just jump straight up, the wind will push you past the spikes. All right, Davey... Looks like he's got the key. Oh, and his drill gets despawned. Ego is making pretty solid progress through this level so far. Taking a even more commanding lead as time goes by. Ego is making sure to keep his buddy on screen. Don't want to go too far ahead. Misses up the jump, falls, dies. All right, Akos making it to right up to another platforming section with those little roller guys. I don't even know what they're called. Uh, like roller, roller, roller buddies, roller blades. If they're not called roller blades, I'm gonna be upset. Akos having a little time making that long jump there. Meanwhile, all our other racers are pretty much at the same section, moving pretty simultaneously. Steve making it through. This is his chance to take uh, a nice solid second. Oh, misses the jump up to the key. And dies. With every minute that passes by, Akos gets more and more proficient at his section and comes that much closer to taking the lead, even further away from the rest of our racers. I'm being told that the roller blades are called gyries. 
That's a neat name. I like rollerblades. They are called rollerblades now. You already hear, folks. Official retcon. Rollerblades. Steve making his way over the one tiles, heading towards the key, and dying. Ecos heading to this precarious section, getting to the rollerblades. He's now making progress. Damage here does not matter, so you can take a couple hits. Now, getting conveyored into the spikes will kill you. So you have to be very careful there. You can't touch the spikes in that section. Steve has the key. Steve has the drill alive. Can Steve make it through without accidentally getting pushed into a portal? No, Steve! Steve, you didn't jump! Oh, Steve had it there. And I think... Uh, Relaxed a little too soon, popped off a little too soon, and threw that progress right down the drain. <gasps> oh my god, why did I not realize I was gonna get knocked back? I freaking had it, man. Alright, our three racers kind of synced again. Meanwhile, Echo's going through the rollerblades, feeling taking some hits as he needs, getting pushed off the ramp. Steve, once again, through the single jumps, going up for the key. Hop, 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 hop. He's back. I'm pretty sure he's going to keep his buddy on screen. He does. Here's a second attempt for Steve. Did he learn his lesson? Hey, he did. And Steve has reached the next checkpoint. The tables have turned drastically. We had QC getting the first checkpoint, and then Davey getting the second checkpoint. Now we've got Akos and Steve being our next ones to claim that uh, the third checkpoint. This race is all over the place. Akos just taking his time, making progress. This next section is not really much about. Uh, Funky tricks as much as it is just very precision jumps with that wind. And Steve is going to start learning how to navigate his way through this precarious section. See if he picks up on the little bit of tech that he needs to do. Echoes making his way through the rollerblades again. Heading into the very precarious conveyor belt section. And this is the final series of jumps. If he can make it over this last one. Echoes, no! Echoes, no! All he had to do was wait. Echoes was there. And uh, got, got, a, got a little up ahead of himself, which is, you know, understandable. Threw himself into the fanboy pit. And met an untimely demise. Meanwhile, Szechuan Steve making some decent progress. Davy and QC still working on getting that key. Davy commenting in chat that he despises conveyors. Let's lower our heads in a moment of mourning. QC making it over the double section, not getting up to the key in time. Losing his opportunity. Davies time, trying to make it through. Can he keep up with his pet? Oh, just barely keeps it on screen. Let's see if he remembers to jump for this bomb. No, he's off to the side. No, and he gets a hit. GG. GG, Davy. GG. Steve has company in the almost made it category of this uh, run. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, QC, uh, oh no, making it with the key without his buddy. So Akos has 
uh, despite being on the same section as Steve, Akos has is reliably making it through uh, this conveyor section. Looks like he's gonna, with some patience, just stand right there. There he goes. And he is making his way as long as he doesn't whip this jump. There we go. To the next checkpoint. Akos, two checkpoints in a row making it through. So uh, this section he's at now. Uh, meanwhile, as I say that, Davey also makes progress. Davey into the thir third section and Akos into the fourth section. This is a uh, magfly area where you're basically following the drill and dodging red lasers. Uh, nothing super complicated here. It's just uh, a lot of tight movement. Um, you can't really move back and forward that much, so it's just up and down and keeping an eye on what's coming up ahead. QC now, our only member still in the previous section. It is not too late for him to catch up. Davy and Steve learning the uh, how to ride the bombs with the wind. Akos making his way through the lasers. Every. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, in Discord, a uh, couple people going, oh my god, this is the intended strat. After they realize, uh, after fiddling with something that's super tight for a while. And uh, Akos mentioning that he said that pretty much every screen so far. Thinking he's cheesing it. Or thinking he's doing something uh, wrong and then being like, oh no, this is, this is what you're supposed to do. It's just that brutal. Davey floating his way through space with the aid of his little magfly buddy. Not quite getting up far enough, taking a laser to the face. QC making another attempt to get out of this section. Passing the, uh, or coming up on the 37 minute mark. Which means we failed in our goal. Our One of our current goals for these Kaizo race levels is we want the first place guy to be able to beat it in, uh, what was our goal? 15 minutes? 20 minutes? Something like that. First place should be beating it in about 20 minutes. Or a highly skilled player should be beating it in 20 minutes. So I guess the fact that this was made by a highly skilled player um, means that we could probably extend that time a little bit. All right, Akos making some progress through this laser section, coming through, ooh, that was the home stretch there. QC grabbing the key but losing his little, uh, his buddy. Davey making his way over these spikes, getting to the roller blades and falling to his death. Akos making a second attempt on this final section. Will he make it through? No, and he didn't dip off that magfly. So you, if you uh, look at the wall, the wall ends before the red lasers end. So you need to basically go as high as you can and then hold left in order to make it onto that final platform. Szechuan Steve heading to the rotor blades, uh, resetting. I don't know why he's resetting. 
Um, maybe he lost his uh, he lost his friend there. His uh, whatever friend. Akos making it back very quickly to the end of that section, and he is entering our boss fight. Akos now a dem not demanding commanding lead. So let's take a look at this boss fight here. It is Top Man once again. You may remember him from last week. And it's another fight where you're not shooting him in the face directly. You need to indirectly kick his ass. And this is pretty much a summary of the entire uh, stage so far. So you're going to dodge some spear twirlers right off the bat. You have one HP, so can't get hit. Jump over some spikes. Dodge some tops that will be flying at you intermittently. Now, Top Man is pretty consistent with his top... Uh, launching habits, but every now and then it will come a little off sync and it'll probably kill Akos for that. After that section, there's going to be a large hop to get caught by a magfly, where you need to uh, precision fly around to some lasers without getting killed, dodging some magnets. There's that magfly. After that, there's another little bomb reset portion, and then you ride that drill to glory. Akos has all the time in the world right now to figure out this boss fight. He has a full section ahead of everybody else. I just noticed the fanboy in the ceiling there. Uh, Akos getting a face full of tops. So your movement uh, in that mag section is very important because it, it sets the trajectory of the tops from kind of very far away. So you need to make sure you know that uh, when Top Man sends out those tops, they kind of lock on your position and then they fire. So as long as you're constantly moving up and down, they, they should move into a position where you are not in. All right, Davey getting on to the roller blades, taking damage, knock himself off with that back boost. Steve and Davey having trouble with this uh, this forward flying section. Akos <laughs> missing the platform, falling down to his death. Akos catching the magfly, getting smacked in the face again by the tops. So this is just about manipulating those tops to shoot where you want. They are He is not shooting in a uh, consistent location. He is shooting, he's aiming at you from a far ways away. So you just gotta make sure that you are manipulating that properly. Steve making it onto the conveyors, catching a spike to the face and dying. Akos catching the top once again, or catching the magfly and once again getting tops to the face, trying to figure out how that works. Davey getting flashed of roller blades, dying on a spike. Akos dodging those tops, dodging the next wave of tops, doesn't quite catch. There's a lot of top waves you need to dodge there. You gotta be, you gotta understand how Top Man shoots his weapons in order to make it through that section. Davey passed the roller blades onto the conveyors, getting hit in the face. Going all the way up, going all the way down. Can he make this last one? Ooh, didn't quite stay down long enough to uh, to catch them, or to make them go all the way as low as he wanted. Q 
QZ making it through, heading up towards the key, missing the key jump. Tries to come back. His buddy's long gone at that point. Everyone is firmly entrenched into their specific sections. There's not really much new ahead for them, it's just execution. That's all that's happening right now. Szechuan Steve onto the rollerblades. Hopping his way through, going on to the conveyor belts. Ooh, making it through the conveyor belts. On to the very last section. Is he going to make it? Oh, oh. Second last jump. Szechuan Steve bites the bullet. Akos, I don't know if you guys saw there, but he made it past the last wave of tops, uh, but then took a quick jump and jumped into them, unfortunately. Aiko slowly but surely figuring out the manipulation of Top Man. There we go. All right. Now, will he know to re... So, oh, when he got topped in the face. Looks like he needs to stand up there just a little bit longer to avoid that last set of tops. After that, uh, la the top blast in the lower hallway, he has one more top wave uh, to avoid before the finish. So, lots of top... To, to dodge. You've got to top the top. Because the top don't stop. Akos. Another attempt through the magfly section. Barely dodging those tops there. I think he's got an off pattern. That might help him or it might hinder him. Looks good. I think he's... Oh, he resets the laser. <sighs> resets the laser. Gets scared by the tops, though. Doubles back for half a second and dies. If he would have dodged those tops there, I think he would have been home free. Akos on the cusp of victory. A whole screen and a... Screen and a half, essentially, ahead of everyone else. Forgets to go reset the bomb. Takes that laser to the face. Fool him once. Shame on him. Or something like that. Fool him once. Sh fool. Yeah. Fool, fool, fool me once. You don't get fooled again. <laughs> uh, Davy hesitating. Uh, staying back a little bit. And getting dropped off into the spikes. Back on the magfly, Steve making it through these bomb jumps. Catches the spike and dies. Echoes, tops of the face, dies. Davy into a pit, dies. QC still working on getting that key. Davy heading to the rollerblades again. Echoes navigating the precarious spike chamber. Another attempt at the end. Resets the laser. Get backs up. Dodges that. He needs to dodge these last ones. Oh! All he needed to do at that point was hop on to his little pet drill. But instead, the drill uh, drilled him. Yeah. Alright, Aiko's learning his lesson. There is nothing more he needs to know. He has literally executed this level perfectly once before. He just has to do it again. Uh, I guess while while we're waiting for Akos to finish up, can someone take a look at our other racers and let me know who is the furthest ahead, uh, who I'm gonna replace um, Akos with once he finishes? All right, Akos making it back, resets the bomb, hops up, dodges those. Oh, and gets smacked by a very, very late top um, on that last one there. I don't know if that was even avoidable. Uh, top man did die there, so progress, I guess. 
Davey making it to the last thing. Oh, and he does does the same thing Akos did. Jumps in front of the drill, realizes at the last second that that is not what he wants to do and gets mulched in the face. Akos going for the uh, third run back. Re oh, resets the bomb just a little too early. Gets back in the face. Davey trying to get back to his near completion, near checkpoint. Once again, having a little bit of difficulty. Akos on the mag fly. Breezing through this section now. Resetting the laser. Hopping up, dodging those. One more set of tops. Land on it and... <gasps> oh my god. <coughs> my voice. <laughs> Denied at the last second. The moment of glory snatched from him by a Hail Mary tops from Top Man. That was just rude. That was Top Man exploding into a plethora of tops. So it looks like Akos is going to chance it one more time, although I think he's got the same... Uh, oops, jumps in front of the laser and dies. So the timing that he's using right now for uh, his run is, I think, going to consistently cause Top Man to shoot out that last wave right before he dies. So Akos might need to hang back a little bit. Maybe just to uh, just to avoid that timing or go faster. I don't know. It's gotta gotta get gooder. Davy making his way through the rollerblades onto the conveyor belts, over the conveyor belts. One more time onto that last section. Can he make it very carefully? And he's up there as long as he doesn't whip this last jump, Davy. And he whiffs the jump. Well, com commentator's curse. Sorry, sorry, Davy. You, I had such faith in you. I still have faith in you, but I let you down by by focusing my attention on you. All right, Akos. Meanwhile, dodges Top Man's last wave, catches him in the face, and rides this drill home to freedom and first place goes to Akos at about 51 minutes on the clock congratulations to Akos a few minutes later and QC making it finally out of that section Getting his key, getting his buddy, and moving into the wind section. Alright, Davey, while I'm editing names, makes it through, takes his time with that last jump, and Davey is now heading into our fourth section. Meanwhile, as I'm talking again, Szechuan Steve making it through to the next checkpoint. And while we're here, I'd like to say, everyone watching, please take the time to go and follow all of our runners. Uh, Akos underscore Eos, uh, Davey U, Szechuan Steve, QC Shallow Muscles, uh, Mr. MD Battlefrog, who is having some technical issues, and the creator of this level, Brickman. And obviously, if you're watching here and you haven't followed me yet, please drop me a follow as well. Uh, they, everyone would appreciate your support. All right, Davey looks like he's making it through and is on to the boss. Setting himself up nicely to take that second place. But Steve is not far behind. Steve, Steve can get there right now. Oh, he could have got there right now. Commentator's curse. And there we go. Steve is through onto the boss. Just like that, we have ourselves pretty much a tie game. Davey with just a few, not even a full minute of extra knowledge over Steve. Place your bets now. Who do you think is going to come in second place, Steve or Davey? A little longer than a few minutes later. We're just passing one hour 
and 12 minutes. Nearly 20 whole minutes since our first place racer finished the game. QC, trying to get out of this section. Can he make it? Just stay there. Just stand there. All right, QC, don't drop this jump. QC making it out to the next checkpoint. Almost, almost getting caught and killing himself on that, uh, on that drill. QC making it all the way to the boss wall. Will he beat it? Will he be the first one to dismount properly? No! The finales of all of these sections so far have been a big kick in the dick. <laughs> all right, here he comes. QC, the final stretch. Got to go up, got to hold left, and QC is through onto the boss. Let's freaking go. Can he make this happen? Two very boring minutes later. QC making it through uh, the Magfly section for the first time, getting valuable knowledge. Uh, almost caught up with information with the rest of the racers. QC actually is starting to have a freaking chance at this. Second place is not outside of his grasp. Hey, can we get can we get some hype for uh, for all the racers in chat? Can we just like just just spam some hype. I don't care what emotes you have. Give uh, give all the racers right now some hype because this race is getting right down to the wire for second place. And I am super pumped. You guys should be too. Everyone is putting on a friggin' stellar performance. Second place hype. All right, Szechuan Steve, making it, oh, making it through the section, jumped on top of the drill and just kind of wiggled his way off, getting mulched. QC making it to the final section ahead of the, the uh, ahead of the thingamadoodle, the freaking drill. Now, if he, if his mind clued in that he needs to reset it, he could be on equal footing. QC has brought this back from the freaking from the grave, this is the run back. Davey, trying to say, no, that's not happening, gets topped in the face one more time. This is literally anybody's race. Well, anybody's second place at this point. Akos, first place, finished nearly 40 minutes ago. Actually, almost exactly 40 minutes ago. I think everyone knows that the pressure is on. I know Steve definitely has Discord open. I'm pretty sure Davey has Discord open. They're looking every second. Who's going to finish? The pressure is there. Davey with another shot at it. Resetting the laser. On top of the, the drill. Tops in the face again. I think he's got his timing just off. Ooh, Steve with the exact same thing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Davey. Davey abandoning ship. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Davey has dipped out uh, after that last uh, that last attack. Davey uh, might be a rage quit. I don't know. Uh, spam your Ramesses in mourning of Davey. Uh, Hunter X57, you're asking what was his upload run clear time? Yeah, it's about five minutes with about seven deaths, I think is something what he said. So compared to the uh, hour-ish that it took our first place person to uh, accomplish, mind you, they had to do, they had to figure out the level. So hydrochlorination is uh, going, wait, wait, five minutes? What? Uh, yeah, a, lo a lot of the these Kaizo tricks is figuring out the timing. So as the creator, he knows the timing. He knows how he designed every jump and where it's supposed to happen. So the, the minutia is not, he doesn't have to worry about hitting those uh, as much as these players who are still fiddling and trying to finesse their jumps and their movements, right? All right, Steve, making his home run. Doesn't reset the bomb. Bomb wasn't quite destroyed yet enough for him to reset it. QC making his way down. Exact same thing. Doesn't quite go far enough to reset that bomb. Steve making it through. Going for the final push. Successfully. Oh. Successfully stops the laser. Gets a little off the top. 
QC taking a taking a breather, having a conversation, wasting valuable time. Letting Steve get hit. Steve resetting the bomb. Steve up on top of the drill. Steve, can he lock in second place over top? Steve, just stand there. Don't move. Steve solidifies second place with a time of 1.39.53. Congratulations, Szechuan Steve, for your second place finish. That was a tight race. Uh, and a crazy near comeback uh, to grab that second place from QC, but Steve weathered the storm and made it happen. Let's see if QC can follow suit right here. That'd be a nice way to end this stream. Over the top, dodge those last ones, get on the- No! So close! QC, I apologize for cursing you. That would have been an awesome way to end this to end this race stream with those those two finishes so close. QC is up. QC is dodging the last one. QC is on top. QC is through. And we have QC in third place just like that. With a 142 sub 145 just like I predicted. Congratulations, QC, with that third place. All right, everybody, we're going to end the race here. Uh, in first place, Akos underscore Eos with a dominating time of 51.36. Second place was a very, very close and nearly uh, mind-boggling comeback story, but Steve, Szechuan Steve, was able to pull it out with a time of 139.53, just getting in there over our third place finish qc underscore shallot muscles with a time of 142 10 um this level was called my little pet drill id 212882 created by last week's kaizo king brickman brick underscore man um commentary was done by myself gumja thank you everyone in chat and thank you everyone on youtube for watching and supporting uh these Kaizo races if you have not done it yet please make sure to give a follow to all of these streamers uh including brickman and myself we're going to do this every friday and i hope you guys come back for more thank you once again this has been friday night Kaizo race april 20th 2018 take care everybody see you next week Bye bye